So good day everyone. Uh, welcome back to today's class where we're going to be looking at our study session four, uh, software development uh, process. The learning objective is uh, to understand the software development processes, learn about software licensing and intellectual property rights, realize the significance of software security and intellectual property uh, rights. Uh, introduction. Uh, Remember in the last class we looked at software uh, where we said software is a set of instructions that uh, you know computers follow for tax and its advancement require careful uh, consideration. So basically in the last class we, we looked at software as a set of instructions that uh, manages or control uh, the computer. So without it computers will not exist like uh, WhatsApp and uh, Facebook. So process of software development Software development process. Uh, software development process is uh, actually a structured approach to creating computer programs or systems, like building uh, something from scratch in the digital uh, world. The process uh, actually involves planning, uh, you know, designing, coding, testing, deploying, and the maintenance of the software applications. Software licensing is a contractual agreement between end users and software publishers, thereby outlining conditions for software usage. So there are basically two main types. We have the propriety software, uh, where the publisher has exclusive rights. And then we also have the open source software, which allows users to use and then share, uh, or even distribute and also modify the software uh, component without a uh, charge. So uh, associated with software is a term that is regarded as uh, intellectual property, which is designed to actually uh, you know, protect creative uh, works of software. So this includes copyright protection for software code and uh, documentation, as well as uh, patents for original or inventive uh, software uh, features. Software security is crucial for protecting software from unauthorized access, misuse, and modification, as well as protecting sensitive data from hackers and theft of intellectual property. So to avoid being vulnerable, uh, it is uh, advised to keep software up to date, use secure coding practices, use authentication and access controls, conduct regular security audits and educate users on safe software practices, such as not clicking on suspicious links or downloading from untrusted uh, software sources. Summary of study session four. So uh, uh, we are able to look at, uh, in summary, developers, firms, individuals in the technology sector uh, must have a thorough grasp of the software development processes or procedures. Uh, we made mention of licensing, intellectual property rights. Uh, navigating these factors, we established that correctly ensures that software is generated, disseminated, and protected in a legally compliant and effective uh, manner, thereby encouraging innovation while protecting rights and interests of um, software developers. Self assessment questions for study session four. So SAQ uh, 4.1, uh, state any software development process. SAQ 4.2, differentiate between proprietary, proprietary software and open source uh, software. SAQ 4.3, state three methods that can be used to avoid software vulnerabilities. Thank you and see you in the next uh, study session.